Hello and welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. If that didn't get you going, then I'm not sure what will. My name is Terry Ellis and I'm an audio reviewer and a direct live calibrator. And welcome to the video review of the legendary valve amplifier, the Macintosh MC275 Mark VI. I'm sure most of you will know who Macintosh are and I bet some of you will actually remember the very first Macintosh MC275 that debuted in 1961. Just think about that for a second. This amplifier design has been in production for pretty much 60 years. That has got to be some kind of record. Where are the Guinness guys when you need them? Before we jump into this review, I wanna thank Nintronics, the excellent Hi-Fi and AV dealership for loaning me this sample for review. And if you're in the market for one of these or any other Hi-Fi or AV products, I would suggest you get in touch with them because they'll give you outstanding service. Quick history lesson. The Macintosh MC275 debuted in 1961 and was in production until 1972. Macintosh made and sold thousands of them. The MC275 was brought back into production in 1994 to commemorate Gordon Gow, who is another Macintosh company legend. It stayed in production since right up until today, and it's now in its sixth iteration. And certain parts have been changed and improved, and safety measures improved, but Macintosh has essentially kept the visual styling very much the same, and it's pretty obvious to see why look at it. The specification has remained pretty much unchanged as well. The MC275 is an all tube stereo 75 watts per channel power amplifier. It's also a 150 watts per channel monoblock amplifier and because of Macintosh design and unique technologies it has the same power output regardless of the output load impedance so essentially the same power at 8, 4 and 2 ohms and it does that with under 0.5% distortion. One of the included Macintosh technologies is the Unity coupled circuit. This patented circuit allows for that low distortion for a flat frequency response and for call operation of the tubes. Part of that circuit is the multi filar wound output transformers. This technology again helps the amplifier to have a flat frequency response. Sentry monitor tube protection is a circuit that monitors the tubes and ensures a long and healthy life and is an automatic safety shutdown should there be any problems with the amplifier. The MC275 is only medium in size but seriously heavy at over 30 kilograms despite having a chassis that's made from titanium. The speaker binding posts are also a Macintosh patented design. The MC275 is pretty simple in use. It has single-ended and balanced input connections. It has an on-off power switch. It has trigger inputs, and it also has an eco on and off switch. Now with this enabled, the amplifier will automatically go into standby if it doesn't receive a signal for more than 30 minutes. The tubes, the main power tubes are KT88s, and there's four of them. The driver tubes, there are seven of them. There are three 12AX7A and four 12AT7s. These appear to be pretty common tubes, so it would be great for audiophiles who like to do some tube rolling. So what does the MC275 Mark VI actually sound like? Well, Macintosh themselves say the MC275 doesn't actually have a sound signature. They say it has the sound signature of music. And in a large way, I would have to agree with them. It's hard to describe in words what something that sounds musical might actually mean. When you listen to the Macintosh MC275, it just does music. And you can see why it's been in production and still selling for all these years. It's a great sounding amplifier. Music sounds smooth and euphonic. It's a real pleasure to listen to, but it's still plenty of drive, masses of control, fantastic bass extension, and again, bass control. I was expecting there to be some obvious negatives to the sound performance from the fact that the MC275 is an all valve amplifier and it's only 75 watts, but I'm happy to report there just wasn't any. Uh, I guess I would say the Macintosh engineers are not 
working the tubes in this product overly hard and that coupled with the clever Macintosh design and technologies creates an amplifier with an effortless presentation even at loud volumes it does have a maximum volume point where if you go over that the sound quality seems to degrade but that's at a very loud volume level more than loud enough for the majority of audio files the mc275 is also very transparent to the source it doesn't always sound smooth and doesn't have to sound smooth if you don't want it to a real surprise to me was the heat that the amplifier just doesn't generate. I was expecting it to be like having a little oven in the listening room. It is winter here, it's, it's December, it's not the middle of summer, so bear that in mind. But again, it just doesn't seem to generate any more heat than some of our transistor class AB designs. However, I would still give the MC275 plenty of ventilation. This is not a cheap amplifier with a retail price of over 7,000 pounds. However, the visual styling and the sound quality more than justify that price tag. You also get the legendary Macintosh build quality with the majority of the parts and assembly being done in house in the large part i'm extremely happy with the build quality of the mc275 i do have a couple of niggles but they're not ones that would put me off buying my final thoughts i know valve amplifiers can be very precious to certain audio files certain designs and the use of certain tubes now i would say the mc275 is probably not designed for those types of audio files it was designed back in 1961 with some extreme foresight and current modifications have kept it very much up to date instead i think the mc275 is a valve amplifier for nearly every audio file it's very 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 easy to live with and even easier to love it won me over instantly it's a charming and simply wonderful hi-fi component to listen to i hope you enjoyed this review for the macintosh mc275 power amplifier as always there'll be a far more in-depth and detailed written review on our website and the address will be in the bar down below if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave us a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and make sure you click the notification bell so you get a nudge every time we create a new video again thanks to nintronics for loaning me the sample for review make sure you go and visit our website there's always new and interesting articles news and more going on there and i'll be seeing you soon thanks very much for watching